Hopefully we don't all have to suffer a terrible diagnosis to find out we are loved as much as Tim is by his former colleagues here at Fox Sports and obviously his five children and his wife. I mentioned that 15 years ago he and I were broadcast partners. Those were the last two years that Tim worked here at Fox. But back in 1994 when he began, his very first partner was a 25-year-old kid named Joe Buck. Joe joins us now from Dallas. Joe. I just love the man. Um, I know you were talking directly to him on the other side of the camera you're staring into. I know I'm talking directly to Tim Green on the other side of the camera that I'm staring into right now. Yeah, we auditioned together back in 1994. I think we both lied on our applications. I had never done any football. He had never broadcast anything, and we kind of launched ourselves into this thing uh, hand in hand, so to speak, and fought our way and figured our way through it back in 1994. I learned so much from Tim Green about how to be a dad, a young father in this business, about how to be a better husband as he is to Alyssa. You know, I, I know so many are afflicted with this horrible disease. I can tell those people who fight this disease that now that Tim has gone public with his diagnosis, they just got the best teammate that they could ever have in this fight. There is nothing this man has ever put his mind to that he has not accomplished, whether it's being an NFL player, it's being a lawyer, it's being an author, it's being a broadcaster. He's a wonderful human being, and we were all better for uh, having known him here at Fox, and we're all better now knowing him uh, with what he's battling up in the uh, Scanny Atlas area in the Finger Lakes in upstate New York. Tim, I love you, buddy, and uh, I and all of us are thinking about you. I would never bet against you. Go get him, man. He is the perfect guy to be the face of this disease because he's always been curious. I can remember a conversation with him just about the word crepuscule. You know, and he's just curious about wondering what these words mean and, and turning them in. And this is just, as we talked about, just a, a terrible diagnosis for anybody to go through. You know, I just want to give a shout out to a, a friend of mine that actually became a friend over the phone. And I'm going to see my good friend Robin and Harrison uh, Anderson in Winston-Salem, North Carolina this Wednesday. So we're going to spend the day together, buddy, fighting a ALS, tough disease. You're a tough man. So Tammy and I look forward to spending the day with you. God when you look at, at, at bottom line dollars, ALS is one of the most underfunded yep. research causes all around. But Tim Green's family is already doing something about it. In just a week since going public, they've raised more than a million dollars on this website. Bad. And you can be a part of it. Just go to TackleALS.com, donate whatever you can. All the proceeds will go to research to fight this crippling disease and for medical care to help families who cannot afford it on their own.